Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are gonna do a Dollar Tree DIY. I'm gonna make a snowman out of some Dollar Tree glass products. Now, what you're gonna need, a few things. I use this adhesive, it's fix all, it's pretty thick. It works just like E6000 or you'll need E6000, hot glue, you can use hot glue for all of this, but I'm not guaranteeing you how much it will stick. Um, you'll need a glass candlestick or any candlestick. Two of the fish bowls. You want one of this size and one of the bigger size. So you'll see you have two different sizes here. And I use spray paint, but you can use acrylic paint. You can use whatever paint you think is going to stick. Um, I have one of these snowman hats. They also come in plain black. I have some tumbling tower blocks that I glued together. Um, this is a project that might take a little time, but it's gonna be adorable. Um, acrylic paint because I'm out of chalk paint. And then a bunch of different like fake snows. Some of these bottle brush trees. You can, you can use the little truck and trailer, anything you want to decorate the inside. I also have from the Dollar Tree, some of these little wood tree stump thingies, little wood cuts from the Dollar Tree as well. And then I'm using glitter. You can use gold and I also have white. I'm using white, but you can use whatever color you want. And then if you wanna do what I'm doing, you're gonna need some Mimwax Polycrylic you might be able to get away with like painting Mod Podge on the inside and doing the glitter. That's up to you. That's just not the technique that I'm using, but there's nothing right or wrong. This is just what I'm doing. And I think that's it. And some little doodahs, scissors, paintbrush, things like that. So I'm gonna flip you around. We're gonna get started. I have a few things that need to happen. Oh, and a glue gun. Did I say that? I think I said that. That need to dry before I can move on to the next step. So we're gonna do that. And then this is gonna take maybe tonight into tomorrow, maybe. We'll see how quickly things dry. But let's get moving. All right, first step, because this is what's gonna take the longest. I have my one coat polyurethane. The better product is the poly polycrylic, which is water-based. But they were out and I couldn't find it. After two stores, I said, I'm done. So there's that. I have a cup and the cup needs to have enough room for that to fit, to drain, right? This is just like doing the ornaments. What we're gonna do is fill this with this polyurethane and drain it out. So I'm just using a turkey basting syringe that I got at the Dollar Tree because that's just how I'm doing it. I don't like the mess of pouring. So then I'm just squirting it in here. And this does have water cleanup, so I will clean that up after. But what you're wanting is the whole inside of this to be covered with this polycrylic or polyurethane, polycrylic, polyurethane, whichever you're using. Like I said, some I know people have used like floor wax. There's other products you can use. This is just what I'm choosing to use. Um, for no other reason that I know it works. This is also the same thing you would do if you were going to um, coat the inside of an orange. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just rolling it around. Sorry. This is the same prod or process you would use if you were going to... Um, put glitter on the inside of a ornament. I'm going to try to do this with snow and glitter, possibly. I want it to look like the snowman, right? And so we're going to try. Now you don't want a ton, but you definitely need it to coat everywhere because wherever it isn't, you're not going to have anything stick. So part of the, there we go. So now I've twirled it around and I've gotten it everywhere. Let it sit like that. 
I've got a little drop out. And when it's clear, but still tacky, so about 10 to 15 minutes, we are going to turn it over and um, I'm gonna beat the top down of my can first. See, these candlesticks come in handy. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit here for 10 to 15 minutes. What's happening is all the excess is draining out. And when it's clear, it's sort of close to dry and tacky at the same time. And that's what we want. I really am gonna try to use this snow to coat the inside, but I also have some white and gold glitter that I could toss in there if I would like. So that's step one. So for me. I took some of these Dollar Tree little wood cuttings and I created a little three effect. I just hot glued them together. Nothing spectacular, but it will fit in there and it gives me the different heights that I want. I'm grabbing some glue sticks. And then we're gonna come around here with the glue gun and put some trees. And this is almost ready. I think I have my last drop taking place up here, but. So I hot glued the three trees together and then I have several different sizes and a few different colors, some flocked, some not. And then I have some of these little tiny boys over here. So we're going to first attach some trees to this. The first thing I did, this is downhill. So I took the tree base and bent it so it will stand up straight. You know, because trees in the forest are gonna grow to the sun. Then I just put some hot glue on it. And I'm attaching these larger trees into the center. I'm gonna put some snow. So if you look at the base, it's crooked, but if you look at the top, it's straight. And then I would like to have, I think on this tree here, on this level, I'm going to do two little trees next to each other. I don't, they're not really little. I mean, they're small, but these are from the Target dollar spot. And if I go back and find some more, I'm going to grab them. But, and they're two different shades of green, which I like the variety. So again, just going to put a little dab of hot glue. Put that one there and this other one right next to it without whatever that is. I don't know what that was, but I think it's part of the tree. So there, now I have a tall one with these two. I want all different trees because it's the forest. And then we're gonna do this pretty tall one up here, maybe. This is where it's gonna come in handy to bring my bowl over and test them out. Oh yeah, that's way too tall up top there. So, cause what I can do is just pick that up. I'm just gonna glue right there. So those are as tall as we're gonna be able to get in this bowl. Right? Right. So what we can do on this tippity top is put a little tiny tree up here, which again, I'm okay with. Center it. There, now we're just gonna let these dry. I like a trio, although there are four trees. I will probably glue some trees in the bottom. Now what we're gonna do, this is a mess on the outside, but this is gonna take the longest to dry and set up. We're gonna try this. I haven't done it with the fake snow. And this is from the Dollar Tree and it's just the faux snow, but it has the sparkle in it. And I figure whatever this doesn't stick, I will fill in with the glitter. But we need to, Get that in there. And I'm probably just gonna dump it down in this cup because it's messy and I don't want to get sticky um, fake snow. <gasps> I don't know guys, that looks pretty good. It just looks like a snowball in there. So I'm just kind of moving it around. 
right? And then we're going to do a little of the other glitter to fill in some of the empty spots. But I mean, I could pour that back into this bag, but I think that would just cause me more stress than anything. Now I'm going to take some of this super fine glitter. This is a white with a gold in it. I'm going to dump it in here and just shift it around as well. All I'm trying to do is fill in where the other snow isn't sticking, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Just rolling it. Oh, I like it. It's got a nice gold tinge to it. And then I'm just dumping out. The extra you could leave it in there but then it's gonna fill up in the bottom it won't do anything but you may be able to see it now yeah, that's done pretty cool huh and I do love the gold with it so now I'm just going to turn it over again but not on the wet spot where the acrylic was polyurethane I'm just gonna turn it over there and let it dry or set up, I guess. And that's going to take some time. I do not want to put, once it's set up a little more and I'm done with this bottom, I will glue it to the top, but I'm not going to put the hat on until tomorrow. I want to give it overnight to dry. Right? Because that's what we do. Now I do have the rest of this snow, plus I have plenty of this snow, so I'm not that worried. Okay. We are going to then hot glue this into the bottom. And you want a fair amount of glue. I just don't want it moving on me when I have to like carry this around and pack it away for the season. And there's not really going to be a front yet until I um, put the top on and the, and the hat. The snowman hat will then create what is going to be the front on the next level. Let me bring you down here a little closer. Maybe you can see better what I'm doing. Yeah, it's about as close as I'm going to get you. Now, I wanted to see about putting a couple trees, like, down, but I don't think that's going to work because I want snow in here. Maybe a couple of the little tiny ones, but then I feel like the snow is going to bury it. You know what I mean? Let's just put some snow in and see what happens. We've got plenty of trees and plenty of time. So I'm just using the rest of this bag of snow. And then if I need to open another one, I certainly can do that. I don't think I need to. What do you guys think? Oh, I don't know what that. Oh, it's a glue string. I was like, what is that? Now, one thing I do want to do is get maybe some glue up or some snow up top here, potentially. Although, I don't know. What do you guys think? If I had a little reindeer I could stick down there, that would be adorable. I just don't, right? And I don't know that I'm going to get my glue gun. What is going on with that tree? It's a little wobbly. I don't know that I'm going to get down in here with a glue gun to be able to get some glue on there. But I can take some crafter's glue because it has a nice tall top on it. And maybe. There we go. This is just craft glue. There's nothing fancy. There's nothing special. Just some gelled craft glue, I guess. But I want to let it kind of run down the side of these. I'm going to have it, the snow stick to it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm literally like painting or um, frosting a cake here. But I want to let it kind of ooze over. Oh, that's going to be fun. And I got some over here. It's kind of look like snow and ice, I think. So I'm going to get the 
um, snow to kind of stick to it. There. Now, put a little of you in here. And I'm just shaking it around, right? Because we want to get it up on top of those trees. And then if I have too much, I can always dump some out once it's dry. Oh, I like it. If you can see, oh, what's happening over here? Static. If you can see up on the sides of the logs, it just looks like it's ice. Now, does that look like too much? Ooh, no, there's something clumpy. We're going to get that out of there. There. I like it. That's just static on the sides holding up that snow. But I think that's super pretty. So we're going to leave that alone. Right? And then we are going to... In a minute, we're going to attach that on top. But I need to smush that tree down just a little bit. I'm just, ooh, there we go. I'm just bending it a little bit. And I'm going to do the same with this little tree. Just kind of pushing them down just a tad. There we go, so that I can attach the top of the snowman. So basically this is his head. I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue and I'm gonna use some of this because I need it to hold it straight. That was what the hot glue is for. And then the E6000 or the Fixall is gonna be my long-term solution. So let me, See if I can get you to see here what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to be very careful because I don't want this running anywhere. So I'm going to do, I mean, like the lightest touch of this glue. Right? Just in certain spots. I do not want it running in the inside, okay? And then we're just going to put like the tiniest bit of hot glue. Again, we don't want it running down the side. Stick you up here. On the glass to make sure if there's any E6000 or glue that got on it, it'll be cleaned up before it dries completely. I like it guys. What do you think so far? Now, the only thing we have left to do is let this sit up and then tomorrow night or tomorrow, I'm going to hot glue the hat on them and potentially put a face, but I don't know if I want a face or not. We'll see. But this needs to dry. This whole thing needs to set up and dry and we'll come back to it tomorrow. Here we go, guys. That is my gin or my gingerbread. <laughs> that is my snowman. I love him. Look inside.